I think I'm just going to play D3. I, again, another position I don't like. I'm getting a lot of positions that I'm unhappy with against this guy for some reason. Let's play G6 here. I got a game. Go here. Hmm. Do a speedrunner build trophy cabinet? Mm hmm. Hmm. This looks wrong. I'm going to go Bishop G4 here. This looks very wrong. I'm going to just take the pawn. Let's go here. I mean, I feel like his king side is so open here. I have rook g8 soon. But it should be very bad for my opponent. But I don't know for sure if it is. This looks very wrong. Um, I'm gonna go here and take maybe. There's takes. I mean, there are all kinds of tricks here. If I take this one, I assume that I'm winning here, but I don't know for sure. Did Rosen win yesterday in poker? Um, he won the streamer, the streamer, longest lasting streamer, so yes, he did win. Who is this guy? Can't find him on feed it. Hmm. Go C6, kick the knight out. I, I can actually sack if I want to, but I, there's no need to be cheeky. So let's just go here. It's a very simple position. Ashraf is the name, right? Ratings. I'll, I'll look him up. Um, Ashraf. Yeah, Arton Ashraf. He's 2008. His rating is 2008. Seriously? Wait, seriously? For real? For reals. His rating is 2008. Hmm. Okay. Really? Okay. It's twenty. It said tw two thousand eight. I mean, twenty three forty sounds much more realistic. Oh, two thousand eight is his birth year. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Then yeah. Then it's fine. Then it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say if he's like if his radius two thousand eight. Then yeah, there's something wrong. But it's not, so there isn't anything wrong. Just play D4. I have Bishop A4. I also have D5 here, I think, also. Wait, what? I just take? Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, my God. I thought I could take. Wait. Okay, so I go check. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was bad. I mean, I should have just played Bishop A4 right away then. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, it goes bishop d7. I'm happy to see that because now I can trade at least. After knight c3, I should be better here. I don't know if I'm like much better, only a little bit better, but I feel like I should be better. I can play queen b3. I mean, g3 looks fine too. I'll just play g3. I don't even know what's necessary. Take. Oh, he's going to take with a king. Okay. That's one way of playing this, I guess. But I still have queen f3, bishop d2 somewhere. I don't really believe in what he's doing somehow. Question is, can I actually castle here? Ninety-four rook h four. Oh, but if I castle, he's got queen e four. What am I doing? I, I, I very very careless for me. Um, and if I check king d eight, that's playable. Hmm. I'm thinking too long. I'm just gonna go king up one, king g2, and manually castle my king here. I don't even know if this is right. I suspect I should have castled queen side, but whatever. There's also queen f5 check again somewhere. Whoa, he takes. Let's go here. Probably I should have played queen d1 and queen a4, but. Bro is 15 years old and did not get the jam title. Time to do something else. Yeah. That looks very sus. I'm going to go here. So I have a four somewhere in rook b1. B4, rook b1, queen a3, takes, takes, check. Maybe I misplay, or maybe I go here. Okay, I've got to focus. I'm thinking too long. Yeah, I'm just going to go for it. Let's take. I don't actually know if this is winning, but it looks horribly scary. So he's got to move the king, and I have check. I mean, at the very worst, I have a draw, but I think I have check here and here. And I think he's just crushed. Yeah, I think I should just be winning. This should be GG. And he can't block with the rooks of queen c6, which ends the game. They just move the king. And now I'm just going to go for bishop b6 and end the game immediately. Third round or push. I just I want to play some blitz right now. It's not about pushing. Should be should be GG pretty soon though. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I played knight c6. I'm going to go knight a5. I guess bishop b7 and b5 or something. I guess I should play here. I don't even know if b6 is right. b5 also may be a move. I'm just gonna trade and go here, hit the knight. Knight f6, knight d7, maybe. Don't know why I didn't play knight f6. But maybe I have e5 here. Don't like my position at all.
Um, what are you guys asking? Yeah, I expected that. I can go G5, which looks absolutely putrid. I think I should play here in knight d7, maybe. Uh, go here. It's gonna have to play f5, then I get queen h4. And I think I'm kind of okay here. I'm not great, but I'm kind of okay. Why did I just play g5, by the way? That was also ridiculous. Not playing well. Um, yeah, this is just stupid. No, it's ridiculous. I just threw this game super hard. It's absolutely horrible, by the way. I'm just going to have to walk the king and try to save this. Uh, that's a blunder, though, because now you gave me knight e4. Of course I get the knight to d4. I mean, I might play h5. Maybe I just play king e7 and b5. It's a bad position, but I'm not sure how bad it really is. I think I go here and take and... Oh, he's got knight g3 also, which I didn't see. I can also take with the e-pawn, maybe. Um, so if I take... Go here to hold the pawn. And it's got Queen A4, which I missed too. <sighs> um, I've got to move though. Let's go here. I don't even know what I'm doing actually. I'm just like playing moves. I thought I had 92 and 4 At least that's what I'm going to go for. Trying to create some kind of weird mess here where I can maybe save the game. But this is really ugly. Takes, okay. But now I can take and maybe go like... Rook here to hit the pawn. Go here. Here, I'm trying to move quickly here. Yeah, I'm trying to pick up the speed here a little bit. No good move. C4 is a move. Go here. I have to keep the time situation close here, basically. I take, I walk the king around. I mean, oh, I blundered that. So, so stupid. Did I trick him? I think I tricked him. Yeah, I tricked him. Yeah, I just tricked him here. Yeah, I tricked him. There we go. Next game. That was a bad game. Really, really bad game. Get the win, but I'm not happy.
Am I, do I think Levy could become a GM who dropped everything? No, you guys. It's, it's one of those things which it's very hard to explain to someone who doesn't play chess seriously or, or hasn't spent their life in it, but it's not possible. I mean, it's literally one of those things where there's an age at which, like, you just, you stop improving, basically. That's the simplest way of putting it. Um, wait, wait, wait a second. Wait, what is this? One second. But yeah, there's, a, there's an age at which you just stop improving, which is why a lot of the kids who get good very quickly, like there's a point, that's why they have to really try and maximize it when they're young, because they stop improving at a certain point. Uh, I can go C3 here. I think I'm just gonna do it and play Rook C1. Um, that's why it's really, really critical when you're when you're young to give it, give it your all, like when you're 13, 14, 15, because like at some point the brain, the neuroplasticity just stops and you just stop improving basically. It's the simplest way of putting it. I, I don't really know how else to explain it, but it just, it stop, you stop improving. I'm going to go D5, D6 here. Yeah, you, you just you just stop improving. It has nothing to do with hiring a team to work for him, you guys. It, that, that's so be it beside the point. You guys are missing the whole point. Um, that, that doesn't matter at all. He could, he, could, he could have the best openings in the world. It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter because his natural skill ability is not there and his memorization abilities are nowhere near where you need to be like a 2700 anyway. So it just it, it's like it's beside the point. You guys just missed the point completely and let's go here yeah i mean it's it, you can still improve but the improvement is incredibly slow incredibly slow and i mean i would say it's bored it's just it doesn't happen yeah yeah well by the way i don't know why i'm not why i'm why i'm playing so poorly this game too but i am yeah i mean people like everyone assumes that when i say it i'm just like i'm trying to be rude just because um, but that it, it's simply, there's a certain age at which you stop improving. Take with a pawn, of course, it goes C5. But you improve though, the improvement at my level is so minimal. You're talking, you're talking about such a small differential and yeah, it's not entirely objective. Of course, it's subjective. I spent my whole life in chess. Like literally, I spent my whole life in chess. It's like when I talk about people getting worse from teaching, that's literally based on spending years and years of seeing everyone in my stepfather's circle who coaches stop playing tournaments. They stop playing because they, they do, they do worse and it hurts them with private lessons down the road. Yeah. I mean, it, it's very weird when people assume it's not objective. It's literally based on 30 plus years of being around my stepfather who's been teaching chess his whole life. Um, so it's just very strange that people assume that I'm like, I'm just making stuff up. Yeah. I mean, it's just the reality and like, that's fine. I mean, if you want to, if you want to think I'm just being mean just because and fine, that's your prerogative, but that's not what it's about at all. So I'm going for mate. He goes there. Okay. This should be winning. Let's go check. Queen of seven here. A uh, 17 is not too late. No, 17 is an age where you can still have fast improvement. 17 is an age you can improve at. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Objective means based on something solid. It's literally based on every single, it's literally based on my whole life of seeing my stepfather around people who coach alongside him. And none of them have improved past a certain age. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just bizarre when I hear people think that I'm just making it up. It's completely objective. Yeah. And people also don't understand as the rating gets higher, like the, the chances of increasing your rating go down a lot. The amount of work you put in get small, small gains is far greater. That's the, that's the other big problem. Yeah. But no, if you're like, if you're 2,400 at 17, like if Levy was 10 years younger, I would say there's a very good chance that he could improve and get there. But at his current age, there isn't. Yeah. I need to stop making stuff up. Exactly. Yeah. I know you're trolling with that, but yeah, it's just comical that people think that I'm making it up when it's literally based on, on 30 plus years of being around my stepfather and seeing all the people who coach and all these different students and seeing their trajectories. Um, what are, this game again. What am I doing? I guess I'll go here. I have H6, maybe. I don't know what I'm doing. Again, I'm playing a horrible game. Ben Feingold is a late GM. Yeah, but what people miss about Ben Feingold is that he was 2560 and he just didn't have the title. He was already GM strength by that point. That's what people, that's why anytime I hear people talk about Ben Feingold, they compl it, it annoys me to no end because people just say, well, Ben became a GM at 40, so surely you can prove without actually looking at Ben's career and realizing that he was a 2560 rated player when he was like 20 years old. He just never got around to getting the title, but he was GM strength for many, many years. 
many years. And so whenever I hear that, yeah, it's just very frustrating to hear that people, people just don't, I don't, I, I don't know if it's just the modern era we live in or what, but the fact that people are seemingly just ignore stats, pure statistics that do exist to fit their narrative is just beyond wild. Yeah. What am I even doing in this game? I'm playing this horribly. It takes, I mean... Yeah, I play this very, very badly. I'm just going to have to somehow... I'm going to need a little bit of cheese here. I guess I'll play like... I'm going to go here. I'm just going to sack some materials, maybe. And go for H5, maybe. Yeah, I just find it weird, though, that people people just think that I make this stuff up. It's, it's maybe the, the thing that I find most bizarre about everything. Like, it's like when I talk about Levy not being a GM or anyone for that matter, like, there's a reason I say that. It's because I've literally been around chess my whole life, and there are no examples where it's happened. <laughs> literally zero examples where someone has actually improved by the amount that he needs to improve at that age. I do have HG4 and GF3, but I think Rook B8 is still fine. So I have Rook B6 here. There's a lot of pressure. It goes g5, but now I also I have rook b6. I also have takes, but I'm gonna go here to hit the queen. And if I take, there's knight e5. There's also bishop h3. Wait a second. Okay, wait. It's actually a tricky. Wait, fg5 is fine though. Bishop d2 is fine. I mean, let's we'll take this way. Actually, after takes, I think I can actually take with a king, weirdly enough. Okay, but now he's going to get mated, I think. Queen d7 should be checkmate. Yeah, I'm going all in for the kill. And this is just GG on the spot. There's king h1. I can also just go rook c8. I can also trade. Wait a second. Okay, rook... Wait, rook c8, rook b6. So I guess I take... Go here, hit the queen. Like, I should just be winning here. Maybe I just take. Actually, no, let's go bishop g4 and hit the hit the knight. I need to be really sharp here, though. Hikaru is right in 100% the same way I can never, never uh, train to run, yeah. Are there people better than Magnus not for shots to play? Oh, I'm sure that I'm sure that the best chess player in the world isn't playing chess. I, I would say that unequivocally. I'm sure there's someone who could have been better than Magnus, but it, but again, at the end of the day, it's like uh, it's circumstances. Like I'm sure there are people who never played chess who who probably could have been better than Magnus, but Magnus is best because he's the one who got into it out of all all of us. Uh, let's play B3, Bishop B2. Yeah. No, I'm sure there's some kid somewhere who never got into chess who could have been better than Magnus, but that's irrelevant because I mean because they just weren't they didn't have the right circumstance or whatever it might be. Yeah, no, that that I actually I generally agree with. I, I do think there's probably someone who could have been better than him, but they never got into chess because like they didn't have that spark or you know their stepfather didn't show them chess or you know any, any number of wide things, but. Bad spawn, yeah. I, I kind that I do think is pr it's pretty accurate. Actually, I, I do believe that that's true. There's probably someone who could have become like better than Magnus, but they they just never got into the game. I'm gonna go h5, maybe h6 somewhere. Uh, do I go h6 or I just play? I think I'm just gonna play d3 I, again. Another position I don't like. I'm getting a lot of positions that I'm unhappy with against this guy for some reason. I could have been better than Messi, but I didn't have a football. <laughs> yep, true. I'm just going to go 94. I take. Yeah, I've completely bungled this horribly. Another bad game for me here. Yeah, I don't know. Why didn't I just go 93? That's so bad. Yeah, you know, like, I, I just don't know why. Why didn't I just play 93 here? It was such an obvious move. 
At some point, I should probably play H6 just to fix the pawn. Yeah. Although I do have C5 maybe here. Maybe Rook D1 and F4 is how I go about this, maybe. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm actually just playing this game horribly. I do have F4, E4, Queen B2, maybe. I think I'm gonna go for it. It's a little bit bold, but I mean, like, I think it's the best that I have here. I'm pretty sure this is the best that I have. And I'm gonna have to walk the king up and we'll see. Probably I need to go B4 or C5 somewhere too. Please G5, which looks kind of seriously wrong. Yeah, this is very wrong. What is he doing? I go here and King F4 and... No, he's actually butchered this. I also have Rook F1 here. Wait, I should be winning this if I'm precise here. Wait a second. I should be winning. Um... G4 takes, takes Rook G8, King F4, King G4. I mean... Yeah, I think this is just winning for me. I think he misplayed this. I should be winning here. Yeah, he basically hung his whole pawn chain. I'm a little bit lucky again this time. I go here, I take, and I have rook d3, and I just win. So I'm just up a bunch of pawns. What am I up here? One, two, three. Yeah, let's go again. Four more for the adoption. We're going to try to get number 528, I think, if I'm not mistaken. If I get there. But we're only at six. We still have a long, long way to go. I think I'm going to play d6, knight, d7. Something basic here. I've tried the B3 system against Cillian a bit lately, but my win rate is very bad. I think it's a bad system, objectively. It's plus one for a win now. It was plus two at the start, but now it's plus one, which is, of course, horrible. Go Bishop B7, hit the pawn at E4. Is that a trick or not? Let's play H6. I'm just making sure there's no no funny business with a sack, but I don't see it. Just making sure no funny business. Yeah, I've got 528. Yeah, 527, 528. I don't know. Someone can check the rows and score. He's looking to sack, which is interesting. No, okay. He goes there. Let's go here. Of course, I'll play D5. Takes, take. Hey, he's got Knight of four at the end. Trade, and I guess I'll just castle here. I like my position now. It's very solid here. Rookie eight. It's also e5. Yeah, I think e5 is just a good move. Break up this chain. Start to open up the diagonals for the classic Malcolm X. Double double X. The rookie eight. Pressure on the center of the board. I'm really liking my position here. Let's go queen c8 or e7. I like c8. Really liking my position here. Take. Oh, did I have 96? No, he just takes a check. Never mind. Okay. Got knight d5, I guess. So he goes bishop e4. Looks kind of wrong. Uh, but I don't have a way to punish him, oddly enough. Yeah, there's like no good move, which is really annoying. Um... I guess I'll just drop back and play a simple line. This isn't what I wanted to do, but I think it's playable at least. It was 95 now. This looks kind of seriously wrong. Okay. Maybe I play f5 to attack the bishop. Should be okay here. Yeah, bishop c2 or something. It was bishop f3. Oh, right. Because on there I could take, take, and knight f3. And I have, a, I have an actual uh, classic ice skater. But this should be losing here if I'm precise. Like takes, no, takes, takes, queen here, bishop f4. Yeah, 
There should be something here. Knight of three and king h7. Maybe just let's go here. Okay, we got bishop f4. Sorry, one second. Um, take and play like rookie four. Maybe pressure the bishop. It's also maybe g5. G3. I can obviously take and go g5. Somehow I let him off the hook though. I really did. I think. I'm gonna go g5. Go here. Hit the knight. That rook g4 to hit the pawns. Wait, is this rook g4? I assume this is winning for me, but I don't actually know if it is. It should be winning though, I think. Be a long, long time. Yeah, this is GG. We're gonna get number seven. We're gonna be three away from an adoption. Or are we? He's queen e three, which. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Why did I do this? Go here. Wait, Chuck. Oh, I don't have a force made here. What the heck? Why did I do this? I'm still gonna win, but stupid. So. Check. Maybe rook g4 is also an idea. I go f4. This queen either I just trade. I mess this up. I'm still probably I'm still gonna win some time, but I mess it up. Yeah, now I win. There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Was a little bit shaky there at some critical moments, but still good enough. Okay, three more to go. Let's keep going. Oh, is he done? Wait, what? He's done? Huh? He's done at seven? No, no, he's no. Of course he's not done at seven. Come on. No, I, I was like, there's no way he's done at seven. I'm confused because why would you stop at seven games? It's a very, very strange number. Wait, isn't there? Wait, wait a second. There's a pawn hanging on e5 here. Takes 94, queen e3. I don't know. I mean, this looks ridiculous. It's just a free pawn. Unless I'm blundering something very obvious, this is just a free pawn. So I have F3 to kick the horse, and then he loses. Go here and take. I think this is just good for me. I think he actually just hung the pawn. He, he didn't mean to, but he just hung the pawn. He could be tilting a little bit true. It's possible. It's his choice when he wants to stop. Of course, it's his choice when he wants to stop. But seven is still a very weird number. Like, because also, like, stopping on the even numbers, I would see. But stopping on the odd numbers is very strange. Um, Like, eight, six, four, two, whatever. But stopping on seven is just a very strange number to stop on. Okay, now I get to castle, and now, now I'm just up a pawn in the middle of the board. And I should just win this game very cleanly. 
I think C4 is good here. It's not the only move, actually. Uh, but C4, he's got Rook D8. I have Queen E5, Bishop G6. I can also just go Rook C1. Aha. Uh -huh. I sort of understand what his idea is, kind of. Now, now I start to get it. Um, I guess I'll still play Rook C1, though. No reason not to. Yeah, I think I'm going to go A4 here and, like, Rook A2 and activate the Rook this way. Might be wrong, but I think it's okay. One second. You get Queen C7. I can go B4 here. I think I'm just going to play like something quiet, though. Yeah, I'm going to play something quiet. I'm just going to go H3 here. Something very, very slow and quiet. And now let's go uh, here, I guess. I uh, gave him a5, but I have queen a3. One second. Um, okay, so I take, take, take. Rook d4. I think I'm going to go for this. I think it's fine. Let's just take. He's going to sack the queen for the two towers, but I think I'm safe here because I've got a good position. Like rook d4, I have queen a5. I also have just knight c4 and queen e7. I think the queen is worth more than the two rooks here. But I could be wrong. I've, I've been proven wrong before. Um, wait, I also have e3. Wait. Wait a second. One second. I need to be careful here. Now I wait. Don't I? Oh wait, no. Now that now it's all guarded. Shoot, now it's all guarded. So I can play e4, f4. Me. I think I'm just gonna go e4, f4. Okay, let's go e4. Kick the bishop. Go f4 and start pushing the p. Okay, let's go f4. I missed rook c2. That's a good move. Shoot. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I just blundered. Oh my god. I I blundered seriously, right or not? No, I've got knight f3. Oh my god, I very nearly just threw this game away. I'm very lucky I have knight f3. I didn't see rook c2 at all. Horrible. Right? Doesn't that just blunder knight e1? Okay, now I just win the game. Fair enough, now I win the game. <laughs> easy come, easy go, as they say. Um, take the knight, I guess. I was trying to go back, but now I can just hit the rook again. And now I've got a 5 and g4 and I win the game. Of course, I'll play f5 here. g4, obviously. gg. Yeah, he blundered back. Go here. Dead bishop on the rim. I am down on clock here, but who cares? I mean, not a big deal. Let's go here. I've got check and queen d5. Good check. I've kind of let him sort of set up a quasi fortress. It's not a fortress, but it's a quasi fortress. Check, and now he loses one of the pawns, wins. Go here, hit the pawn. Go here. Go here and win the game. All right, let's keep going. Next game, eight up, eight down. Let's play G6. Oh, no, I blundered. Oh, I win. Yes, exactly. I blundered. I win. It's all kind of the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, let's play E5. Yeah. Good night, E7. I guess I'll play D5. Why not? It's a move. castle I guess I'll play Bishop e6 why not h6 it's b4 which seems like a strange I think I'm gonna play b6 here actually I'm kind of misplaying this already as usual um I have knight f4 
I also have knight. Actually, I've got knight d4. Let's just go knight of four trades and pieces here if we can't. How many dobbins do I have? I have 527, I think. Yeah, 527, but who's counting? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, 527, but who's counting? Only only Eric Rosen. Or only his site, I should... Oh, it's not even his site, but only only his uh, only his site is actually doing it. Okay, let's see. We goes B5. Um, 94 seems right. Take seems right. This all looks correct. He plays queen b1 which seems like a strange move to me um what do i want to do i think i'm gonna play queen d5 seems like a good move hit the pawn knight f4 lurking f5 lurking it goes for this i mean my assumption was i'm just much better here but maybe i miscalculated this i also have knight f4 lurking i've got knight c5 lurking with the forks you go whoa whoa go here hit the pawns this should be very good for me, objectively. Although maybe it's not. Eh, maybe it's not clean. Hikari, are you ready to take your 528th responsibility? Uh, how do you handle so many responsibilities? I know, like, 528 is a lot. Even with 50 million, it's easy to go broke on that. Um, let's go here. Hit the rook. Why did I do this, actually? Does rook be one? I'll go here and hit the pawns. Is it me as a volume music volume lower? It's probably on your end, I think. Yeah, somehow this is actually very tricky to play. I have 95. I also I'm gonna go A6. If takes, I have rook d8. And once I get b5, I should be able to lock the pawns. Yeah, it should be good. Should be winning. How many super GMs? I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah. It was knight e2, so I can take the pawn on a3. I still have knight b2 here as well. Mm. 3d3, knight c3. I think rook d8 is actually a very good move, because if it takes, I have c5. I mean, rook a3 was obviously good, but I mean, c5, actually, I should have played c5 right away. Why didn't I just go c5? So good. Stupid, because yeah, now I give him some, like, rook c3 trick, and it's not trivial. I'm still going to win, but... Or am I? Wait. Did I just blunder this? Yeah, I did. I'm still better, but it's going to take some work to win now, probably. It was rook c1, which I thought was wrong. Wait, I think that's wrong. So 95. Wait, wait. He's supposed to play rook c3, I think. 95 takes, takes. Yeah, I have 95. He missed this. And now he can't break the uh he can't break the pin up. Trying to capture when he takes, takes, he's he's losing. Yeah, he's losing something here. Good. Another win. Alright, one more for the 528th adoption along the way. Um trying to scare me with knight c6, but I just take. Um, do I want to take or not? I think I want to play this end game. I don't want to trade. Go here. Oh, I should not have allowed that, but whatever. Go here. Should be pretty simply winning very soon. Number nine, one away from the adoption. I feel like there should be a force mate here somehow. But there's somehow there is no actual force mate. That's very, oh, that's great. I just blundered again. But I'll win now, trade and take. I can just dominate the horse here, basically. How do I trap the knight? Wait. 
I'm gonna go here and king e6. Now I can just walk the king all the way over. There we go. One more to go. Hands has been adopted, I think, 21 times, which is pretty sick. All things being equal. Nihal's a rapid chess ninja. Yes, he is. He's a very, very good blitz player. I'm going to go a3, b4 early here. And then like queen b3. Let's go queen b3 here. Rook c1, bishop b2. It was b5, which... Huh, maybe I did maybe I was supposed to play B5. Go here. I've also misplayed this too. I don't know what I'm doing in this game. Yeah, I've actually misplayed this quite bigly. Because now I've now I've got a bad structure. My knight's not even getting to D3. No, I'm playing this game horribly. What am I doing? Yeah, I'm playing this horribly. What am I doing? As soon as I get to nine, I'm trying to choke this away. For no reason. Yeah, as soon as I get to nine, immediately I start trying to choke. Maybe I can move my rook, though. Go here. I'm going to go E4 and open up the center of the board immediately. Very, very bad position. Imagine you're on E8, e two to go. Exactly. That's what I should, should be doing. Whoa, Rook A3. So wait, if I go Queen C2, Knight E3. Now, what am I doing? It's 93 or something. Also, Queen D1 was stupid too. But actually, wait, now I've got Rook F2. Wait, no, no, he might have misplayed this. Wait, he actually misplayed this. Now my Knights are getting active. I'm still in a little bit of trouble here, but he kind of misplayed this. Now Knight C2 is a big problem. If I get 1 2, I'm actually completely fine. Yeah, he misplayed this. Now it's not trivial anymore for black to win. Now I'm suddenly back in the game. I think I should play... Do I go knight c2 first or not? I think I should play here and then knight c2. Yeah, now I'm somehow back in the game. I don't deserve it, but I am. Or did I just... Wait, queen... Wait, what's this? Wait, takes, takes, queen d2. Wait, queen d2. I don't understand. What am I missing? So if he takes, he loses. If he goes knight c4, I take. No, he blundered. I think I win now. I win. Yeah, now I'm just winning. Tenth game, and I make it very, 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 very messy. Very messy. Not good, but it's still a win. Yeah, we're going to get an adoption number 528. Um, Yeah. Yeah, I don't know who all 527 adoptions are against. There, there are, but there are a lot of them. Yeah, he resigns. Let's do one more. One more for the even 32-45. I'm not going for a double adoption. I just want to get one more. Do I have the record for most adoptions? Without a doubt, I do. No doubt. Although I did just play a bad sequence. Just played a bad order, but whatever. 95, queen d8, I get knight f6, I'm still fine. But I should not have played this order. I have to go e4 because knight 6, knight b5 is actually losing for black. 
He's using a lot of time, which is good. What's the website that tracks adoption? It's called the Rosen. It's called like the Rosen score or something. Yeah, Botrus just typed it in. Yeah, it's like Vercel.app or something. Rosen score Vercel.app, yeah. It's castle. Go H5. Rookie eight, of course, probably bishop about five somewhere. It goes for this line. Um, not super enthused. Actually, I should not. Knight h7 also just a bad move. It doesn't do anything. I'm trying to go like h4, maybe knight g5. Yeah, I think I'll play h4, fix the pawn. So I have knight g5, queen d7 ideas. C6, obviously, move two. I'm gonna play c6 here um and a6 b5 i just take i want to go knight g5 and hit the pawn i'm looking to sack for sure also b5 i can trade and go c5 maybe as well hard to judge i'm looking to sack on h3 it goes there i have d5 i also have a5 maybe as a move but a5 looks a little bit weird d5 is a move i should probably play but I think I'm gonna go Bishop F8 here. So if takes, takes, I'm back in business. And he can't really play B5 because then he hangs C5. So I'm trying to keep this a little bit more fluid. Have you really adopted 20 times? Yeah, I'm not surprised I've adopted Eric 21 times. That's not surprising. I mean, okay, people are gonna to try to turn that into something else, but I would say objectively, it's not that shocking to me. I still have D5. I'm still threatening to sack here. Okay, so he takes. Do I trade or do I look to sack? Oh, I can also look to sack. Wait, takes, takes, takes. If I take, take, take. Rook g1, bishop d6, rook g2, knight f3, bishop f1, king f8. I don't know if it works. It's a, it's a risky sack too. I'm gonna go for it let's go for it I don't know if it works but I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna go for it I don't know if it actually works but it takes night night f3 it's it's kind of risky to go for it's a little bit risky to do this I don't know why I did this actually because like I, I probably will win but if I'm wrong I could also lose very easily Yeah, it updated 528. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's, it's probably working, but it's just very dangerous to go for this. Because if I'm wrong, I do just lose this game. But the fact that he's using so much time tells me that it probably works. King of Fade, especially. Yeah, I think this is working. Now let's take. So if takes, I have King of Fade. The thing is he has to go back and then I take and I drop back and I still win. Yeah, I just win. He can't take because he gets mated. Yeah, and I take with a knight and it's just mate and one. It's just knight back to f3, gg, why not? Takes, takes, and now I'm lolling him or something bad is happening. That's just a lolly. I think this is winning. I I'm done playing him, but let, let me take a quick look at the review. Was this right? Was this right? It was right. Bishop h3 was correct. Yeah. Uh, what are you, what you are adopting again? He's already in your list. Wait, he is? What? Wait, he is? No, no, wait a second. Let's pull this up. Wait, you can't be serious. Wait, you guys can't be serious. Can you? Okay, let's scroll down. Adoptions. How do I click it? Okay, there we go. 528. Have I really adopted him twice? What's his name? His name is Ash. Ash something. I don't know what. His name is Artin. No, he only shows up at the bottom. He was just added. So yeah, I have, that's adoption number 528. 528 adoptions. Yeah. Yeah, 528. 